Hey guys, welcome to the Manga Mark channel. Today I am watching One Piece episodes 730 and 731. Uh, now, in the last episode, obviously, we're trying to buy time. Luffy has ran out uh, of energy with a uh, fourth gear and he's basically told Giats, Giats, an unexpected hero shows up to help Luffy out along with the people from the Coliseum that had kind of turned their back on us before, but they've came to their senses and now... They're standing up to Do Flamingo to help Luffy. Love that. But he t Luffy told Giats that he needs 10 minutes. He's like, I need 10 minutes in order to be able to uh, kind of gather Haki again. Um, gather Haki, would that be the correct term? Use Haki? Probably. You know? Um, but you know what I mean. He needs 10 minutes to be like, if he's going to... Uh, and he said he, he made the declaration that if you give, give him 10 minutes... So he gets his hacky back, then he will be able to take out Doflamingo in one blow. Love it, right? So that's where we are right now. It's this kind of game of Doflamingo's coming after us, people trying to hold them back. Giats is running away with Luffy. Um, Burgess came in as well, trying to steal Luffy's devil fruit. You know, we know now that they're basically, the Blackbeard Pirates are hunting devil fruit users. Um, they have a way to kind of kill them and take their ability. Uh, so he's going after Luffy, but when Sabo showed up for the save, and then he realised that Sabo was the one in the Coliseum that was like that took on the role of uh, Lucy to eat, eat the Flare Flare fruit, now his attention's on Sabo, because that is the devil fruit he initially came here for anyway. So that's where we are, right? Let's get straight into it, guys. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Everyone that has comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's do this. One Piece episode 730. Let's go. Oh. Oh, there's... Yes. Manchuri. This is what I was predicting. Yes, Harridan getting back into the fray. Get Manchuri to revive all the foot. Like, there's Idio there. Is that what's happening right now? That's that's Manchuri. Yep. Okay, yes. This is great. And now all the Colosseum warriors that were with Luffy from the beginning are going to go and help out. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Zoro's trying to try to stop the bird cage. Is he gonna be able to do it? Hmm. I yeah, don't underestimate him. Frankie's doing right, yeah, because the, the fact that he's made the sea prism, it, it doesn't have to worry about it cutting through. So they're, got, they're trying to use the factory to hold back the bird cage as well. Nice group effort here. What are these clowns doing? What do they not? Do they not see the way the tide's turning here? They're still trying to act like big shots. Oh, that's the guy! Oh, that's the guy from the, the casino! Who's, who's showing up here to put this guy in his place? Someone's showing up. Who is it? Who, who's... I'm trying to think who's around that's not busy right now. Usopp, maybe? Nah, no chance. Oh! <laughs> oh, they're all there. Oh, that's great. The full group's back together. Let's go. And even Robin's with them. Oh, and Kiros as well. Oh, come on. Don't question it, Harden. Yeah, no, let's go. Life support procedure. 
Fair play to these guys, you know, they've, they've been putting all on the line. Pull them out, how are you going to do that? Oh no, what's he doing now? What does he have up his sleeve now? What's this going to be? Oh my god, is he making the birdcage smaller even? Oh no, it's just, it's just moving much, much faster. Right, okay. Yeah. And Luffin still needs 10 minutes. Zoro, you, Zoro, you really, really need to stop it, bud. Uh, it kind of comes down to you now to stop this, because we don't have enough time for Luffy at the moment. Oh, here we go. Blah. Oh, man. Oh, the animation looks great, but... Oh, and Sabo, you know, with, with the... Pipe on fire. Come on. Just... I, th I take great joy in seeing anybody from Blackbeard's crew taking a smashing. Just, <laughs> I hate like this. Burgess is Burgess is kind of the same as Blackbeard, but he he has a knack for doing an annoying kind of smile and laugh after like everything. You know, it it, it just it. Oof. He knows how to irritate you. Mm hmm Law. Come on, Law. Time to step in. Law's gonna do something. There is there is no way. Frankie White <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say why are you letting the Tontatas push and you're not getting involved. But I forget that these little guys are actually like ridiculously strong. <laughs> yes. You get in there as well, Frankie. Let's go. Three minutes. Uh, you know what's going down when the when the narrator kicks in. How long do we have? How long does Luffy? Okay, well that's just so. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, narrator. <laughs> that is what I'm saying. So, the, the you know Zoro, uh, Kinemon. Um, Kanjiro, Frankie and the Tontatas are going to have to hold this birdcage back to make up the time. Oh, oh, that's really smart. Yeah, use the... He loves the praise from Robin. <laughs> yeah, use the barrier to try and push it back as well. Nice. Okay, so, oh, right. I misjudged it then, so that the Coliseum people aren't, they're going to try and hold back the barrier as well. I thought that they were going to go and try and help Luffy. So Gyatz is carrying Luffy by himself. Well, the other people from the Coliseum are taking on Doflamingo and helping us out. But you know what I mean? Like Gyatz is someone I did not expect to play such a big role in this arc. <laughs> Are we going to get an explanation of... Oh, Dandelixos. Okay, so Dandelions. Oh, so it is her tears. Okay. I wasn't sure if her tears were just part of it. Like, because Giola found out about her tears. But she actually does need to use her tears for the ability. Oh, is this good? Right. Okay. Yeah. It's going to touch them and... Yeah. Give the boost. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 
Nice. Oh. Oh, so it isn't, it isn't actual curing the problem. It's just kind of giving them that boost. Right. So all the Colosseum warriors are probably going to collapse after, like, we, we deal with this birdcage then. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. <sighs> oh, man. I hope Gyatz comes out of this all right. I I'm very worried for him. Oh! What happened? Did the law just throw his kind of lifeless body across the country there We're using his room? Did he just throw himself into a building? Okay. Oh, yeah, get law involved. Mm. Yes, yes, hand them over. Hand them over to the man. Right, I like this. The, the alliance. The two captains of the Alliance reunited again at the end of the fight. Um, Law's got something up his sleeve. Law's going to help Luffy out. You know, whether that be from his knowledge as a doctor, he can help there, or using his devil fruit to kind of hold back Doflamingo. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be the second one. I think that we need, we need these, we just need to, time for the hacky to recover. And I think, Law was acknowledging that there when he spoke to Giat, so he knows that, you know, these people, the Coliseum Giat, as much as it's very courageous of them, they don't have the ability to hold back Doflamingo. Law can do it, right? And so mixed with that, so we need we need Law to hold him back till Luffy is able to get back into the fight, and we need everybody else that's kind of banding together to... Give us, give us an extra couple of minutes if they can with a birdcage. But I like, I like, you know, I love that. I like the team effort that we're seeing here put in from all these different, you know, areas and all these different people having different ideas. You know, Zoro and the samurai just going with their swords in there. Zoro style, no overthinking necessary. Swords, let's stop it. You know, Frankie using, taking advantage of the pre, the sea prism stone of the factory with the Tontatas to go with that approach. And then the people from the Coliseum using um, using Battle Neo's barrier to try and push it back. So I I, I, re I really I really do like what's happening here. And then the Manchuri thing is interesting. I I think I was under a kind of misconception as to it might be just that she's she's doing this ultra recovery thing just now and that is the one that has like a very short lifespan um a kind of like time where it's like right it'll only last for a few minutes because she's doing it that much to like and she's spreading it over the country maybe her healing can be more you know focused i don't know but it's it's interesting that basically like the people from the Coliseum that went through the grueling fights, they will revert back to their former state in a few minutes. So it is really like a last ditch effort here, just giving them enough energy to survive, which is what she has to do. If that is the case, that's the best way to do it. Spread it across the country and give everybody like five minutes or like four minutes, whatever it is, of just super, super stamina recovery, let's go. You know, everyone can run from the birdcage to the centre, all the citizens, and the people on our side that are stopping the birdcage can do what needs to be done, right? But let's get into the next one. Let's do it. Let's see where we're going to go here. Let's see what the law has up his sleeve. Um, because you know that Doflamingo is not going to be... He's not going to be keeping quiet here. He is... And the the search zone gets smaller and smaller as he, as he's looking for Luffy. So this is the problem, uh, you know, because if it 
if he bumps into kind of like the citizens and stuff, is anybody else going to get dragged into it with Dolph Flamingo? Like from our side of it? Let's see. Let's get into it, guys. Let's do this. One Piece episode 731. Let's go. Oh, he's pissed. I don't think he can hear you. I, I, I like this. Like, as much as this guy was painted as a pure scumbag during the Coliseum. That's why you never, you never judge a character written by Oda. Because, yeah, like, he, he, does, he does stuff like this. It, it can, I feel like it can turn anybody around. Any character can, can turn around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder if they've like slowed it down any. Yeah. Oh. What is she thinking? Is she going to go after Doflamingo right now? Oh, Rebecca, let's... Let's calm down. Is she going to go... Is she do, going to do this? <gasps> oh. Okay. Okay. Not. Uh, mhm. Mm I, 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 I don't know if because she is like we saw she is skilled. She is skilled at defending. So maybe she's going to play a. Oh no, she's just going to try and kill him. But I, I don't think that's like she's going to play a part. Oh. Why? What's going on? Viola, why are you there? Okay. Right. Is she, is she going to try and fight him as well? Is that what's happening right now? Oh, okay, this is this is not what I was expecting. Oh. Okay. Hey, I I commend the courage. I I, I do. I commend the courage, but I don't. I, I, I don't want them to get, to get killed here. So I'm kind of hoping that law maybe steps in. Okay, right. So it is slowing down. Perfect, keep at it. Oh. Oh, I thought, I thought they, they, they actually knew it was slowing down there. Fujitora's coming to help. Yes. He's here to help. Don't worry, Zoro. I like it. I like it. That, yeah, I love that. Like, Fujitora's great, you know. I love that he clearly knows that it's Zoro, but he's, you know, playing dumb. Being like, uh, I, don't I don't know who I'm talking to right now. I like that. It's like I, I know what you're doing, Oda. I know what you're doing. You know, that scene was done there to make it look as if he's about to attack Zoro. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah. <laughs> there was not a moment I thought that was going to happen. Get in here. Yeah, get the Marines in as well. Perfect. Come on. Well. Well, maybe, maybe this is, <laughs> as much as, like, I believe that the leadership <laughs> of the world government sucks, you know, we know that the normal Navy soldiers 
are just normal people that are trying to help. So at least they're getting some good, some good PR here at least. Even though the overall scheme of it is what let Doflamingo do what he's done to this country in the first place. Mm hmm. Is it, oh, is it slowing? Yes. It's definitely slowing down there. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh, they stopped it completely. Okay, yeah, buy some time with us. Keep it there. This is exactly what we needed. Keep that stationary for a few minutes to get Luffy on his feet again. Mm -hmm. Zoro led the charge. Zoro led the charge. Everybody, G uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You can't can't take your eyes off the prize, guys. But you need to exactly, exactly. Zoro showed you that it is possible. So now, full effort into it. Uh, my sentiments exactly, Frankie. Mhm. Mm Let's go. I like that. I like the Marines taking taking orders from Frankie. It reminds me of uh, um, Sanji with the guys from uh, G Five. That was that was a that was a great pairing. That was that was that was awesome. Uh, Viola, please tell me you have something up your sleeve here. You didn't just jump in here with like a dagger. Uh, yeah, her devil foot's weird. <laughs> right, okay. So how did those wheels do okay, right? Yeah, that's what I expected. I I commend I commend her. Like cause she what she has done is she has bought time. She's bought time so that he can't he's not get his hands on Luffy. Is Rebecca going to jump in? I feel like Rebecca's going to jump in with the sword. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, he's... Is he going to use her to fight against Rebecca? Yeah, we've seen how he handles betrayal. Although, the, f the fact that he expected her to be loyal to him in the first place is insane. It's actually insane. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I knew what he was thinking, what he's going to do. How his sick mind works at this point. Oh, no, he's a... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, so I, I didn't know. I did not know what he was doing. He's controlling both of them. Oh, and he's going to... Oh, he's going to make Rebecca kill her. Oh, my. Nah, there's no way. Luffy's, Luffy's coming back before, before this happens. He has to... Or was stepping in. There's no way this is happening right here. Do you know what? As, as much as, like, uh, I don't think this is going to happen here. Right? But as much, like, I do appreciate the fact that he's made everybody experience the despair that King Riku had to go through those years ago. So now everybody can really empathise with King Riku and what he must have been feeling that night. And all these years afterwards. Oh, Giatz, where are you going? Oh. 
Are we getting the... Are we getting the time? Right. Right, well that doesn't... So we're going to have to hold the bird cage back again then. We have to stop it again. There's no point in recovering if you can't get the, the final blow off. Okay. So interesting episodes. I, I, I like I like the way that we're all banding together. I like the you know how they're trying to hold back in the birdcage. Everybody, everybody's involved throughout the arc. Um from the citizens to the people from the Coliseum to the royal family to like the uh the Marines in Fujitora. Everybody's in on it. Uh but and I like that the idea came from Zoro. You know, if Zoro hadn't went and tried that, and then everybody else started joining in, then uh, it would be game over right now. So I, I like I like the the big man. The big man's uh, stepping up. You know, he can have good ideas occasionally. He's not just he's not just the uh, he's not just the muscle. He's not just the muscle. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's. I feel like, I don't know how many episodes must be left in this arc. Um, and don't tell me, don't tell me, because that, that, like, that, if I know how many it is, I'll try and judge, like, like how long, like, certain things are going to last. At. Like, I like to have the surprise of a fight ending, uh, abruptly or not. But considering what's happening here, it very much feels like we're building to a climax. I I feel like we like in the in fact I think that the fight could be resolved in the next two episodes. Uh just because they're like the narrator saying they are basically sixty seconds for the bird cage and sixty seconds for Luffy. So I think what's gonna happen is they're gonna stop the bird cage again just and and, and kind of try and hold it to give Luffy the time he needs to take him down. Uh, but where are Sabo and Burgess fighting right now? Considering how small this birdcage has gotten. Uh, oh man. I just, you know what, like... What I'm looking forward to, right? Obviously, I want to see Luffy uh, take down Dothamingo, right? Definitely. But what I'm looking forward to in this arc, or after this arc, is the aftermath. The aftermath, right? Because there's loads of things that have been happening. Um, and what what is the results going to be i i need i need like uh luffy and sabo to maybe have a conversation about why sabo didn't kind of turn up for ace or or let ace and uh luffy know that he's been alive all this time i i, I understand he's been with the revolutionary army but like, Luffy didn't even know it, like, anything about that, or or would care about it. You know, I, I, like, a, a simple letter would have done. He knew where to send it to. Like, they're, they're living with the Dan. So, oh, my God. The Dan and the, and the people from... Uh, their hometown. Do they know Sabo's alive? Oh, oh man! So they probably be, no, they wouldn't. They wouldn't know because the, the Luffy was there until he was what seventeen. So oh, they won't know that Sabo's alive. Oh, I really want to see that. I really want to see if they can kind of get the news. That at least uh, like another one of the brothers is out there, you know, because they'll be thinking that both Sabo and Ace are gone now, just like Luffy did. Ah, oh, I didn't think about that. Um, but yeah, so like the aftermath of that, like I, I want to hear that conversation. 
uh, of what's going on there. I want to see what's going to happen with this country after this. You know, I think obviously Riku having to step back up as king um, is what's going to happen. Rebecca, do you know, at one point during the arc, I was thinking Rebecca uh, was a contender for a possible crew member. I don't think that anymore. Um, just because of the story of her and Kiros and like what Kiros and her mother wanted for her. So, maybe not. The possibility is still there, but I feel like with, with other people and kind of big arcs like this, the, 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 the signs have been a lot clearer that uh, Oda's building them up to be a crew member. Uh, and I, I, I just don't, I don't think that that's going to happen with Rebecca. Um, the world government and like, like Fujitora and this, the whole thing here because of Doflamingo, what's going to happen there? You know, because the way Fujitora is trying to handle this here is very interesting. And... It's making me think of, obviously, Alabasta. Because I think that if the world government got it their way, they, like, this is my prediction, is that the world government's probably going to go, oh, yeah, turns out, uh, Doflamingo, ugh, turned out he was a bad egg. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? Like, we could never have guessed that like this guy was was evil. There was no signs. We, we could not predict it. Turns out that's what happened. But don't worry. We, we, we foresaw this coming. And we sent one of our best men, Fujitora, uh, the new admiral, the new poster boy. He went out there and stopped the situation and, uh, and saved Dress Rosa. I think that will be their narrative. I think they're going to try and do to Fujitora what they did to... Smoker and Alabaster. And based on Fujitora's personality, he is not going to be happy about that. The same way that Smoker, Smoker was raging, and then Smoker got his punishment. That's why he's with G5. Um but yeah, uh, I, I can I can see that the writing's on the wall for that because that's you know they, they do not they do not want anybody to know that it was Luffy and his crew were the ones, and Law, that were the ones that came and saved Dress Rosa. But the thing is, like, Fujitora spoke about it through the arc as well. Um, he's aware of that, and he's he's aware of, because of, like, the situation in Dress Rosa and what's happened there and the nature of what's been going on with Doflamingo and, the, you know, the Marines and, like, the CP0 the CP stuff where they're manipulating the newspaper and all that. He's just kind of like, how can I... And his hands are tied as well because he's kind of there and he's like, I want to step in and help, but I can't do this here. And, like, these people don't... I don't think they trust the Marines anymore. So, like, we... <laughs> They don't look at us like we're here to help them. And I don't blame them. I do not blame them. Um, because of what's been going on. And he has this strange... His hands are kind of tied right now because... He can't really... Do anything with Offamingo. They seem to have made some kind of deal. Uh, but... Fujitora kind of made it clear what he thinks about the Warlords as well. And Doflamingo has kind of stated his intention. It's not going to happen because he's not going to win. But he stated his intention that once he got rid of all the troublemakers, he planned to get rid of Fujitora as well. Which just ain't happening. But, do you know what I mean? Like it, After these big arcs, some of the best world building and crazy stuff happens like in like a few episodes in between before we can move on to the next one. You know, some some of the best reveals, some of the best reveals, like especially after ones like uh after like Annie's lobby. Oh man, 
just seeing that and just thinking of what what bombshells can be dropped on is after uh, after Dress Rosa. But yeah, guys, I feel like we're, we're building to the finale, and I'm very interested to see how it's going to play out and who's going to who's going to be playing a part in it. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you made this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.